Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. America has no shortage of legends concerning cryptids and monsters lurking in the wild of the country. From wolf-man hybrids to numerous lake monsters to Bigfoot. And while many of these cryptids are fairly widespread, with many similar reports and stories told throughout the continental United States, there are some that are truly unique in appearance, resembling no other creature and being localized to only one town or county. Such is the case for Mothman, the high-flying, red-eyed nocturnal anomaly that haunted Point Pleasant, West Virginia in the late 1960s. Mothman, named in homage to the comic book character Batman, is said to be a winged humanoid creature, roughly seven feet tall, with a myriad of physical traits that differ from source to source. Some say that the creature has features that are insectoid, like antenna, mandibles, or large moth-esque wings. Others say that it has more bat-like features, such as leathery wings and short dark fur. Even more say that it has features similar to an owl, such as massive eyes, great feathery wings, and razor-sharp talons. But the features that everyone seemed to agree Mothman possessed were a massive wingspan, being dark in color, either dark gray or true black, but most notably were burning red eyes. Whereas other cryptids have been hypothesized as freaks of nature or survivors of bygone eras, Mothman has been called a demon from hell, an alien from the far reaches of outer space, an animal mutated by toxic pollution, a science experiment gone awry and escaped into the wild, and many, many more. Whatever Mothman may look like, or where he came from, or how he came to be, stories of his existence and sightings of him pique the interest of locals. The first sighting of the creature happened November 12, 1966, when five men were preparing a gravesite for a burial. The men claimed it looked like a large winged man with glowing red eyes, and that it rose into the air just by spreading its wings, and it glided off without a sound. Three days later, two married couples, Roger and Linda Scarberry, and Steve and Mary Mollett, were driving together late at night near an abandoned National Guard armory and TNT plant. They saw that the door to the plant seemed to have been ripped off its hinges, and then they saw the creature appear from out of the mist. Terrified, they sped off in their car, but the creature took to the air and gave chase, keeping pace with the car even when they had accelerated to nearly 100 miles per hour. This encounter later made headlines in the Point Pleasant Register, stirring up local interest, and leading to a number of nighttime hunting parties searching for the Mothman. Over the following months, other mysterious phenomena, including UFO activity, electrical and telephone disturbances, poltergeist activity, phantom dogs, missing pets, animal mutilations, and more, were all attributed to Mothman. Some say that Mothman was the cause of the mayhem, while others say that Mothman's very presence caused misfortune, acting as a harbinger of doom. But others say that Mothman tried to warn people of potential disasters, perhaps scaring them away from danger. The mayhem culminated on December 15, 1967, exactly 13 months after Mothman's first appearance, 
when the silver bridge near Point Pleasant suddenly collapsed, sending 46 people to their deaths. Survivors and witnesses of the tragedy claim to have seen the Mothman flying overhead. Stories of Mothman and the collapse of the Silver Bridge would attract the attention of New York paranormal journalist John Keel, who would later publish his investigations of Mothman and other occurrences in the area in his 1975 book, The Mothman Prophecies, bringing the legend of Mothman to nationwide attention. Alleged sightings of Mothman became less frequent over time, but they never truly ceased, with reports of the creature being seen as far off as Chicago. Most explanations for this cryptid sightings are misidentifications of great horned owls or barred owls, sandhill cranes, or even large herons. While the red eyes are believed to be animal eyes reflecting a light source, other theories generally blame the Mothman sightings on clever pranks and well-made hoaxes. Whatever the truth may be, the Mothman legend has had a lasting effect on both the community of Point Pleasant and on American folklore as a whole. In recent years, Mothman has become a celebrated figure in Point Pleasant, with a statue of him erected a museum dedicated to him and his alleged sightings, and even an annual festival held in his honor. Myth, monster, cryptid, or hoax, Mothman is a unique and fascinating creature whose story continues to intrigue and ignite the imaginations of the curious at heart. <laughs>